My name is Anthony Rivers, veteran of the United States Air Force, also the United States Army National Guard. Currently, I'm participating in the Homeless Veterans Program at Tuskegee VA. My story starts basically after I got out of the Air Force, and I liked military service, so I joined the United States Army National Guard, which was a unit in my hometown. When I got in there, I went different places, experienced different things. I began to indulge in drugs and alcohol. I was married in the military, and I got divorced right after the military because of the way that I had begun to change. My ex-wife, she was not used to me initiating the type of discipline on her that I had learned from the military. Okay. It caused problems and eventually she left me in the United States Army National Guard. And I got into some legal trouble and ended up doing some time in the penal system. After the penal system, I knew inside myself that I was somebody and that I had good potential and great qualities and skills within me that I learned from the military. I went to a community college for two and a half years and became an electrician in order to compete in the job field. However, I f couldn't quite understand why I kept getting in trouble. I was having trouble with my family, like fighting my siblings, numerous encounters with the police. I began to have problems with coworkers. I would go from zero to 100 real quick. Anger, mm -hmm. the supervisors would say certain things and I perceived it as a threat to my livelihood and my well-being. And I would just basically go off and lose the job. I couldn't even keep a job for at least a whole year. I could get the job, I always get into something with coworkers. Something was wrong with me. I couldn't understand. I would go to church, I would pray, read the Bible. I was sincere. It didn't get better. I had a friend, he was in the army. Me and him, we was drug buddies. He almost committed suicide. He almost blew his face off. They're still reconstructing his face right now. He went through the program up at Tuskegee. After about six months, he came home. He was totally different than the guy that I knew. He tried to tell me about the programs. I wasn't hearing that at that time. However, it got to the point where I attempted suicide. And while I was on Veterans Crisis Line, they sent the police to my house. And I went into anaphylactic shock from what I had consume, you know, trying to OD. And they took me to the hospital. They caught me in time. And that was a weird experience. When I woke up in the hospital, my granddaughter was there. She was like six years old and she loved her granddad. I got five grandkids. So I used to didn't do things for my grandkids that a man was supposed to do because I was drowning in my alcohol and drug addiction and unemployability. When I woke up in the hospital, I saw my granddaughter. Said, Granddaddy, you sick? That touched my heart. And so I knew I needed to get help. I called my social worker and they got me up there within two weeks. I've been there now like three and a half months. I was approved for HUDVASH, which is the homeless program. They are gonna you know, help me with my rent and utilities and furniture. I have an apartment in a different city now because I'm gonna change people, places, and things to become the new person that I'm striving to be with the new coping skills and knowledge that I have of myself and my condition. I found out that I did have PTSD. Also, I found the resources that with my two-year degree in electrical technology, I'm going to put in for a job with the, the VA system. So that looks good. There you go. And so now I have hope. I learned about my illness, and I yeah. thank the VA for it. You want to get out of the rain a little bit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>